question four from the 2019 Advanced Higher Physics Examination. Passengers are sitting on a bus as it goes round a tight bend at speed. The following conversation is overheard between two of the passengers after the journey. Passenger one. Did you feel that centrifugal force? It nearly tipped the bus over. Passenger two. There's no such thing as a centrifugal force. It's centripetal force that gets the bus around the bend. Passenger one. There is a centrifugal force. It depends on your frame of reference. And passenger two. No, centrifugal force is just imaginary. Now, you've got to use your knowledge of physics at advanced high level to comment on the overhead conversation. And you're playing for three marks. You've got to have a good argument. And if it's very good and consistent with good physics, you'll get three points. And of course, you'll lose points all the way down for maybe not a good argument. So let's look at the argument first of all. And the main argument, the main debate here, or well, it's not really a debate, is that there's no such thing as a centrifugal force. I'll say that again. There is no such thing as a centrifugal force. The word centrifugal is centre, which comes from the centre, fugal going outwards. And there's no such thing as a force pushing you outwards. Let's look at the person sitting in his seat. The person sitting in his seat is sitting in the bus and the bus goes round the corner. Now the bus goes round the corner because it's the friction of the tyres which make what we call the centripetal force. These forces of friction directed towards the centre of the road radius around about here, these are responsible for the centripetal force. Centripetal means centre-seeking force. And it's the force of friction which takes the bus round. Remember, the bus wants to move in this straightforward direction according to a very famous law. And that famous law is this one here. Newton's first law, a body will move at a constant speed in a straight line unless an unbalanced force acts on it. And the unbalanced force acting on the bus is the friction between the wheels and the road which point inwards, which take the bus round the corner. Now you're sitting on that bus and when the bus goes round the corner then Newton's first law applies to you as well. You tend to want to go in a straight line. The bus is beginning to turn but your body is going in a straight line. And sometimes, if the force of friction between your trousers and the bus seat is not good enough, say it was a plastic seat, then you won't have the force of friction between the trousers and seat, which will act as a centripetal force to take you round in a circle. The centripetal force which takes you round in a circle uh, inside the bus comes not from the tyres, but comes from your clothes onto the seat of the bus. So if the bus seat is made of plastic, it's maybe not got big enough friction to take you around that corner, and therefore you will tend to go in a straight line. But because the bus is going around the corner, the bus wall is approaching you. And therefore you've got that sensation that you are going out the way. It's really the bus wall that's coming towards you because you've not got enough friction between your trousers and seat to take you round in the circle, the centripetal force. Remember, you're going round in a circle like that. There's a centripetal force which comes from the, the friction between your trousers and your seat, which takes you round in that circle. If that wasn't there, you'd go in a straight line and you'd end up slamming into the wall of the bus because the wall of the bus is coming towards you as the wall of the bus goes round in a circle. So passenger one says, did you feel the centrifugal force? The answer to that one you can state quite clearly. There's no such thing as a outward moving force. It's just that you are in this uh, f rotating inertial frame, non-inertial frame of reference as it's called, which gives you the feeling that you're going out when really all that's happening is that the bus wall is coming towards you because you haven't got enough friction to take you around the corner. Now, passenger two says there's no such thing as centrifugal force. It's centripetal force that gets the bus on a bend. That is correct. It's a centripetal force caused by the friction on the wheels that takes the bus round the corner. So that's correct. And it's also the centripetal force arising from the frictional force between your trousers and the seat, which takes you round the corner and stops you from slamming into the bus uh, the wall, the bus, or the bus window as it's going around the corner and as it approaches you. But if you haven't got enough friction, you'll have that feeling 
that you're going towards the wall. So passenger two is quite correct there. Passenger one, there is centrifugal force, it depends on your frame of reference. Well, that's an old sort of kind of one which tricks a lot of people. Um, what frame of reference are you talking about? Remember, if you're in a an inertial frame of reference, you're not accelerating. When you're in a bus, which you can run a corner, then you are accelerating. If you're in a circle, you're accelerating. So you are in what we call a non-inertial frame of reference. And things happen in non-inertial frame of references that gives you the impression that forces are taking place. And it's not the case. It's just due to the fact that you are accelerating round in a circle. Now, passenger two, no, centrifugal force is just imaginary. Yes, it is. But sadly, it crops up in quite a lot of physics textbooks, a lot of physicists really use the word and they think quite clearly that there is such a thing as a centrifugal force. Well, there is not. So there's your physics to explain why there's not. There is only one force acting on you in the bus here, uh, if you can think of that way, and it's the frictional force between your trousers and seat, which takes you round in a circle which pulls you into the centre of the radius of that circle. That is what we call the centripetal force. It's made up of the frictional force between the trousers and the seat. If that frictional force was not there and it was disappeared, then so would the centripetal force disappear and you would be going in a straight line like that according to Newton's first law. Now the wall of the bus then would begin in a circle and that would be approaching you and pressing against your shoulder here giving you the impression that you are being flung out from the centre of the bus. So you can use that information, but mention things like centripetal force, mention things about where that centripetal force arises from, and mention also Newton's first law of motion, and you should get your three marks for that. So once again, there's no such thing as a centrifugal force. There is only a centripetal force, which is caused by other forces acting towards the centre when you are going round in a circle, which takes you round in a circle. Mm -hmm.